What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and this has to do with the upcoming Edo election. Edo citizens are in panic right now after the federal government break it for promise and send in Abuja might. You can see the way those policemen or the security agencies show displays of power, and this has actually sent panic throughout the entire Edo state. As some of these people might not be able to go out to go and vote and a lot of people are beginning to suspect already that the entire election has already been rigged already so i want you to watch this video and then i will be back with more analysis the Edo state governorship election inches closer beyond the policies of the candidates and the conduct of the electoral umpire perhaps the biggest worry for the electorate is their safety will they be able to go to the polling centers cast their votes and return home safely. The security fears in the state can be said to have escalated when election campaigns of the two major political parties, the APC and the PDP, kicked off. As the questions continued to rise over the safety of voters on election day, some interventions had to be made to douse the tension such as the above Benin meeting with the frontline parties, APC and PDP, and compelling a reconciliatory embrace. Why are you all doing this? Is it because of just the office? The office is four years, at the most another four years. Why do you want lives to be lost? And, uh, I will gladly move to him. Also, the Inspector General of Police assuring residents of Edo State of safety during the elections. We assure the residents of the two states that we shall provide adequate security that will guarantee a level playing field for political actors and the electorates to exercise their branches in the most peaceful and free manner. And most recently, the show of force by the police in the state. While many fear voter apathy could be recorded, the residents seem reassured and bent on casting their votes. Since uh, the government they put uh, security in place on that very day, nothing, not, nothing will happen. People should not be afraid to go out to vote to exercise their franchise. I have a civic responsibility to do. I have my voter card. I'm going to vote. Nobody's stopping me. On that very day, I will come out and vote because this is the time we have the right to choose a truthful leader. All eyes are on the Edo state election now, and it behoves on the security agencies to be professional and operate within the provisions of the relevant laws. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News. As the Edo state governorship election inches closer, beyond the policies of the candidate and the conduct of the electoral umpire, perhaps the biggest worry for the electorate is their safety. Will they be able to go to the polling centers, cast their votes, and return home safely? The security fears in the state can be said to have escalated when election campaigns of the two major political parties, the APC and the PDP, kicked off. As the questions continued to rise over the safety of voters on election day, some interventions had to be made to douse the tension such as the above Benin meeting with the frontline parties, APC and PDP, and compelling a reconciliatory embrace. Why are you all doing this? Is it because of just the office? The office is four years, at the most another four years. Why do you want lives to be lost? And, uh, I will gladly move to him. Also, the Inspector General of Police assuring residents of Edo State of safety during the elections. We assure the residents of the two states that we shall provide adequate security that will guarantee a level playing field for political actors and the electorates to exercise their branches in the most peaceful and free manner. And most recently, the show of force by the police in the state. While many fear voter apathy could be recorded, 
The residents seem reassured and bent on casting their votes. Since uh, the government they put uh, security in place on that very day, nothing, not, nothing will happen. People should not be afraid to go out to vote to a society and franchise. I have a civic responsibility to do. I have my voter card. I'm going to vote. Nobody is stopping me. On that very day, I will come out and vote because this is the time we have the right to choose a truthful leader. All eyes are on the Edo state election now, and it behoves on the security agencies to be professional and operate within the provisions of the relevant laws. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News. All right, so what do you guys think about this? Um, there's a palpable fear right now in Edo state as the deployment of these Abuja forces and their arrogant display of show of force is even further threatening and this may at the long run bar a lot of Edo people from going out to vote because people are not actually sure if there is going to be a, a good security cover for them and looking at for what has been happening in other states you see um, the moment where thugs invade polling units with security agencies being there and not doing anything to stop you know the thuggery so people are are not even um, uh, um, uh, people don't actually rely on these security agencies. They don't rely on them. Civil defense, the army, the police, because they are just there for nothing to do the bidding of Abuja. And another question again, uh, some of these people are asking is that is it that the security agencies in the state are they not enough to actually complement or to actually organize security? For the upcoming Edo State election, I mean, come on, we have the army in Edo State, we have the police, we have the civil defense, and we have other security agencies. Is it that they are not enough to provide security and cover for the Edo State? Why the Abuja force? Why a direct force that is actually answerable to the IG only directly from Abuja? You get so this is already um. Uh, uh, raising a lot of fear and tension in the state as uh, some people might not actually think that this is this election is going to be credible you get looking at the fact that security agencies are known to collude with thugs and with the, the ruling party to to actually uh, rig the election so from the look of things now we now know very well that men Gordon Obaseki is not going to stand a chance. He's not going to stand a chance on the look of it because these guys are already bent on taking over a dose state. And the reason why they want to take over a dose state is a dose state will be a window into the south south. Already look at the middle, I mean the southeast. They're taking over Imo State. That was why, if you watch in the last election, they decided to want to be fair. That's why they had to hand over Bayelsa State to. The PDP because what they want is they just want one state from each zone which they've already gotten especially from the hard to get zone that is actually in the hands of the opposition especially PDP so what do you guys actually think about this do you think that this Abuja show of force are going to rig because they said they are here to provide security and all of that but we know Especially given the fact that Oshomole video with Gambari surfaced online just uh, two months ago, where Oshomole and Gambari were here discussing on how to arrest some certain individual who people believe to be PDP. Okay, that video surfaced and so it has been generating a lot of uh, 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 tension in the state. So, what do you think? Please, I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you actually uh, think about this. Thank you very much. God bless you.